Today I am listen a story about The Wellspring of Humility, Matsi's Journey to Save a Village Once upon a time in a small, remote village nestled in the heart of Africa, there lived an old man named Matsi. Matsi was a wise man, and his beard, as white as the clouds, testified to his many years of experience. He had seen the village go through seasons of plenty and scarcity, but nothing had ever quite prepared him for the day when the village's water source ran dry. The village was a harmonious place where people of different backgrounds lived in unity. Motsi often said, in this world, we are all threads of the same fabric, woven together by destiny. This belief was evident in the village's way of life. People helped each other, sharing their resources, knowledge, and time. However, they were about to face a crisis they had never encountered before. The village had always relied on a deep, ancient well as their primary source of water. It had quenched their thirst for generations, but now, with no warning, it had run dry. The villagers were in shock, for water was life in their parched land. Motsi, with his wisdom and determination, decided to seek help from the African king, who lived in a grand palace at the heart of a bustling city. Motsi knew it would be a long and arduous journey, but he was willing to undertake it for the sake of his people. Before he embarked on his journey, he gathered the villagers and spoke to them. Dear villagers, Motsi began, his voice steady and reassuring, I am setting out to ask the king for his assistance in digging new wells for our village. Water is the source of life, and without it, we cannot survive. I have heard that the king is a wise and just ruler, and I believe he will help us in our time of need. But remember, we must teach him a lesson in humility, for all people must understand the value of helping each other. With those words, Motsi set off on his journey, walking for days under the scorching sun, through the vast African plains and dense jungles. Along the way, he encountered people from various walks of life. Motsi, in his humble nature, always took the time to share stories, food, and even a few drops of water with those he met. He told them about the dry well in his village and his mission to seek help from the king. As he continued his journey, he encountered a poor farmer whose crops had withered due to the lack of water. Motsi helped the farmer dig a small trench for irrigation and shared some of the food he carried. The farmer, grateful for Motsi's kindness, said, You are a blessing, and I pray that the king helps your village find water. Motsi pressed on, and in the heart of a bustling market, he encountered a group of children begging for food. Motsi shared his meager supplies and told them stories of his village. He urged them to remember that helping each other was the path to a better world. The children, their bellies now full and their hearts warmed by Motsi's words, wished him well on his journey. In his travels, Motsi encountered many more people in need, 
and he helped them as best he could. As he journeyed closer to the city, word of his mission spread, and people began to join him. Inspired by his selflessness and the urgency of the situation, they walked with him, carrying the hopes and prayers of the entire village. Finally, after weeks of walking, Motsi and his newfound companions reached the grand city where the African king held court. The palace was a magnificent sight with towering walls adorned with vibrant colors and intricate carvings. Motsi, with his white beard and a crowd of people behind him, stood at the palace gates and requested an audience with the king. After some time, Motsi and his companions were granted an audience with the king. The king was a regal figure, dressed in richly embroidered robes, and his throne was adorned with gold and jewels. Motsi bowed respectfully before the king and began to tell him about the dire situation in his village, the dried-up well, and the plight of the people. The king listened attentively, his expression serious. When Motsi finished speaking, the king nodded and said, I understand the gravity of your situation, and I am willing to help. However, I must ask for something in return. My palace is adorned with many precious jewels and artworks and I would like to see a display of your village's finest treasures as a symbol of your gratitude. Motsi, with a heart full of wisdom and humility, responded, Your Majesty, my village is a simple place, and we do not possess treasures like the ones in your palace. But what we do have is a spirit of unity and compassion where people help each other in times of need. We would like to offer you the most valuable treasure of all, the knowledge that by helping one another, we can create a better world. The king was taken aback by Motsi's response. He had expected gold and jewels, but instead, he was presented with a lesson in humility and the value of human kindness. After a moment of reflection, the king smiled and said, You have taught me a valuable lesson today, Motsi. I will send my engineers and laborers to your village to dig new wells and ensure your people have a sustainable source of water. This, I believe, is the true treasure you have shared with me. Motsi and his companions returned to their village with joy in their hearts, knowing that the king had agreed to help. The news spread like wildfire, and the villagers celebrated, not just because their water crisis was about to be resolved, but because they had successfully conveyed the importance of compassion and helping one another. The king's engineers and laborers arrived in the village, and with their expertise, they successfully dug several new wells. The village once again had access to clean and abundant water, and life returned to normal. The people of the village, however, never forgot the lessons they had learned on their journey to the king's palace. They continued to help each other, to share their resources, and to foster a spirit of unity and compassion. Motsi, with his white beard and his enduring wisdom, 
became a living legend in the village. The story of their journey to the king's palace was passed down through generations, a reminder that the most precious treasure of all was the love and support of their fellow villagers. In the end, Motsi's journey not only brought water to the parched land but also sowed the seeds of a stronger, more compassionate society. The lesson in humility that they had shared with the king was a testament to the harsh reality of society, that true wealth lay in the hearts of people, in their capacity to help one another and make the world a better place. Hope you like the story. Hit the like button and share with your friends. Please subscribe the channel and turn on the notification. Thank you.